my name is Taylor Heinz, and I'm in the online women's studies class called Women Leadership this semester. And today I will be speaking about self-esteem and how it helps women in the workforce and how you can improve your self-esteem for the workforce. And this topic was very interesting to me simply because I've recently lost um, quite a bit of weight. And through this like transformation, I've seen like how self-esteem can help a person um, in all aspects of their life um, and how it makes your life easier and for the better. And so self-esteem is important to women that want to take on leadership roles because it allows them to have confidence when sharing their ideas in the workplace. Or like if they want to go ask for a promotion and standing up for themselves against other co-workers when defending their ideas and thoughts. So I read an article called How to Improve Your Self-Esteem, 12 Powerful Tips by author Hendrik Edberg. And today I'll be talking about six of those tips. The first tip is to take a two minute appreciation break. And the author asks that within this break, you write down three things that you appreciate yourself, appreciate about yourself. Um, and this just sets a positive mood. And they don't have to be big things, they just have to be small things that you're proud about yourself that you've accomplished through your day or how you handled a situation, things like that. The second thing is to do the right thing. And this feels pretty simple, but feeling morally good about yourself and standing up for your beliefs um, ultimately will help you and your confidence. And this is especially true in the workplace because setting a good example for your coworkers will help gain respect from them and from yourself as well. So the third tip is to replace the perfectionism. And Ed Berg's philosophy on this is to aim for good enough. Because perfectionism can ruin your confidence because you're asking too much from yourself. And if you're constantly asking too much from yourself, you're never going to feel fully satisfied with the work that you've done and it will in turn ruin your confidence in any situation in the workplace. <clears throat> the fourth thing is to be kinder towards people. And this philosophy is that when you're kinder to others, you tend to set the example and treat yourself with more kindness as well, which in turn like, raises your self-esteem if you're being like setting positive tones towards yourself as well. And this is a two-part benefit because by being kinder towards other people, you naturally attract those people to you. And that will make you feel better about yourself because you're surrounding yourself with kinder, more positive people um, in your life. The, <clears throat> the fifth step is to stop the comparison trap. Now this is because um, if you're constantly comparing yourself to others, it can leave you feeling constantly judged from within and ruin your self-esteem. So the strategy here is to recognize that people have different strengths. And while you may not be as good at something as one other person, you may be stronger in another area. So constantly comparing yourself to others is not like a helpful thing to you or your self-esteem. And the sixth strategy is to handle mistakes in a more positive way. Now, the strategy here is to speak to yourself as though you were your best friend trying to make you feel better about a situation. So, like if you think about when you're telling your best friend about like a hard day or whatever, like their response to you, you want to try to model how you're speaking to yourself, how they would speak to you about it. Um, so this helps you think of the positives and also think of the learning outcomes from the situation. And lastly, you want to praise yourself for getting out of your comfort zone and trying something new to begin with. So in conclusion, um, like, in, sorry, in conclusion, it's better to um, have more self-esteem in the workplace because it's allowing you to gain that confidence in yourself and help further your career aspirations.